Hello, this is Jerry Ganfield at the Steele County History Center, and today we're going to take a look at the German POW camp that was in Owatonna from 1944 to 1945. Many people are amazed to find that um, German, Italian, and Japanese soldiers were housed in the United States during the war. They were shipped here for a couple of reasons. Of course, Europe uh, and the Pacific were being overwhelmed with how do you keep prisoners of war. And of course, the United States had a need for labor because our men were serving overseas as well as women. And so they were shipped here to help out in the farms and factories um, in the Midwest uh, as well as the other areas of the country. Here in Minnesota, we had 16 numbered camps that were serviced by the base camp in Algona, Iowa. And they were brought up to Minnesota, uh, housed here, and they worked on the farms, uh, in the lumber mills, um, throughout the state. Here in Owatonna, we had camp number five, which during its time uh, housed up to 273 German POWs. All of them were members of Rommel's Africa Corps. They tended to be younger work, uh, soldiers, and they worked in the canning companies here. They worked on the farms. They worked in the um, Borden's um, milk uh, facility here. Um, <clears throat> and they worked through the winter because we had a site that was um, weatherized. They used the uh, Thomas Cashman farm. Thomas Cashman had been a state senator uh, who had died in 1933, but his widow still owned the farmstead, which had a 15-room house as well as an 11-room house and the outbuildings, um, and that's where they housed the German POWs. Um, they had a mess hall, and we have uh, one of the stoves that came out of that mess hall, the last surviving one. And uh, they were paid for their labor, but most of their pay then went back to the U.S. government for their upkeep. Their food came from Fort Snelling or from the local area, and um, they were treated under the Geneva Convention, so they were treated well, and in their off hours they had a recreational room, they were allowed to listen to the radio, um, and they had movies provided by the local movie operator. They also had wood carving, um, they had formed a band here uh, so that they would be happy campers. Um, and all of this is kind of captured in the Steele County History Center's exhibit in the town hall in the village of yesteryear. And it's all our effort to preserve and share history today for tomorrow.